Hello and welcome back everybody to the next episode in our Let's Play of Towns. My name is Splattercat, and as always, I will be your narrator slash guide for this go through Mount Worthless. Taking a look here, we're actually getting a lot of construction done. But the real interesting stuff is actually happening down here. I decided to take a chance and burrow into the minus four layer. And as you can see, my people are, well, not my people, but my heroes are carving their way hastily through the dungeon gathering loot and just causing problems. We do have a wizard who showed up who generally just seems to walk around and shoot fireballs at things. That does seem to be what wizards do in most aspects of life, however, so we accept it and we move on and we just take it with a grain of salt that he's probably going to set a lot of stuff on fire. I probably would too if I was a wizard, honestly. Shooting fireballs seems like it might be a useful pastime. In any case, Fort Funsies is completed, as you can tell. It's kind of ugly. I'm not a huge fan of how the final layers turned out, but then again, it's not completely finished either. So, what I'll do there is I'll put those two walls in. And now that that's done, I'm starting to wall off the rest of my town. There's a number of projects going on, namely over here I made some small time housing for people. You can see here I've begun to dug a kind of ditch, begun to dug, begun to dig a kind of ditch. And it's going to go down to this coal seam right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plant a mine on top of that as soon as I get down there. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and place scaffoldings. And then just finish off building walls. So over here, the carpentry building is the one that I'm really kind of focusing on at the moment. And so I'm going to get some walls placed in there. Hopefully they get to work with that. We do have an ironmonger with us right now, I think. But he really, he's like a desert vendor of some sort, I guess. But most of the weapons on his list don't seem to be that great, so I've just been kind of ignoring him. Hopefully we'll get another materials vendor before too long. Some disappointing things that have gone on is that here in Mount Worthless, we have not found any resources yet. We've only found coal. We have no copper. We have no iron, which is really disappointing. It looks like our guards are getting into a bit of a scrum down here. I don't know why... That's not even my guards. That appears to be just general individuals, maybe? I don't know why my entire town is down here getting in fights. It's a bit confusing. What are you guys doing? They probably came down here for some random item that I have enabled on accident. I wasn't really paying attention, so I'm not sure what they're doing. Hopefully they don't do it again. Because that would be really disappointing if... 90% of my town ran down here. And it looks like my guards are getting to work here taking care of this goblin. I went ahead and what I did is basically our heroes are doing a terrible job of keeping their fights on their own terms. Basically, they're kiting everything back with them every time they go down there. So what I did is I set up two patrol points, actually three, for the guard patrol that I've made. And it looks like we lost another townie. I don't know why they keep going down here. I have everything disabled at the moment. They are just being super insistent on coming down here and getting in fights. Which is a wee bit frustrating. I've disabled human remains. I've disabled bones. There's really no reason that they should be down here. I, I'm at a loss at the moment. But... We're not going to be too concerned about it. We'll get more. We've only lost two civilians so far. So... We're not in a terrible situation. It's just I kind of regret opening up this bottom layer. Other things that have been going on in Mount Worthless is we've started to build our little storage facility here. As you can see, I've made a walkway with little rooms, and I'm going to put barrels in each of these that are enabled for different goods, and these doors are going to be lockable so that I can control the workflow. That's something I'm going to focus on for a little bit later, though. For now, I'm not sure why my guards are failing at doing their job. Hopefully they pick it up a notch and they start doing what they're supposed to. Oh, it looks like we've actually got a real hero here. Edmund Mirai. And he appears to be a knight of some sort. That's pretty cool. So we've actually got somebody that, well, at least by appearance alone, looks like he's equipped for the job. I'm going to go ahead and unlock and open that so that they can get back to work making more bread. Because I get the feeling that we're out of flour and everything else. So they should probably get back to work making as many bits of bread as possible. While they're doing that, we're going to continue keeping an eye on the construction of our carpentry center. So I'm going to get the third layer going here. 
There we are. And once the third layer is done, we can start roofing it off. And then I'll go ahead and start getting the masonry done. I haven't decided on a wall plan or a wall design for that yet. It's just kind of waiting for me to get some time, but hopefully we'll get some more immigrants soon. I do need to get people to work, so hopefully that'll keep them out of the dungeon for the most part. Keeping an eye on what's going on down here. Our heroes aren't equipping themselves with gear off the ground, which is also a frustration that we're being forced to deal with at this point, because I feel like their lack of gear is really how they're getting in trouble right now. If they had full bone gear at the moment, I don't think that we'd be having many problems clearing the dungeon out. However, there is gear laying around and they just refuse to pick it up. So I'm going to try and gather some of the gear in kind of the communal areas where heroes tend to hang out, namely the market and kind of the central area of the tavern. And hopefully in the future, they'll do a little bit better of a job of being perceptive and seeing what we need. So we've got a nice bread supply going, which is good. And it looks like they're going out of their way to screw up the next layer. It's always impressive to me how you can tell them to place... Maybe I didn't. Maybe I said it was on the fourth layer, but I'm pretty sure, given that everything else is being placed on the third layer, that I didn't mess that up. We do have some decisions to make with regards to this Let's Play. I've been conflicted about how I want to proceed with it. I can start doing multiple episodes a day, but I can't guarantee my commentary will be interesting or that really anything will get done in every episode. The episodes tend to be punctuated by a day or two of work so that I can make sure that something substantial has actually happened in Mount Worthless in between when you saw me last and when you see me now. But if you guys would prefer, I'm going to leave this up to the community or the people that are subscribing at the moment to decide whether you want me to do this as a back-to-back -back series and you just want to see everything that I'm doing in Mount Worthless or whether you want to see this more as kind of a two to three day check-in like what has happened in Mount Worthless in the last couple days. So go ahead and down in the comments leave me a little message. Let me know which you would prefer, which seems more attractive to you, which you think would be more fun. And I'll go ahead and take that to heart and I'll slow down the protection maybe of the Dead Space program or maybe I'll just start doing more work every day. We'll just see what happens. In any case, I would like to hear whether you'd like me to space it out or just do back-to-back -back episodes. It looks like they've more or less gotten the third layer laid down, which is good because I'm ready to start putting a roof on this bad boy. Our, our chicken is no longer living on the roof, which is disappointing. That chicken was kind of our mascot. He was kind of our fighting Irishman of, of Mount Worthless, but he's gone now. In between saves, I think it despawns things and respawns them. I'm not positive on that, but where else could the chicken have gone? I'm tempted. Let's see here. Mr. Warchi. I'm going to send you on a dangerous mission to go grab some Spiderite Greaves. Actually, go grab the Goblinite Greaves. Where are the Goblinite Greaves hiding at? They're probably super deep down in the dungeon. So maybe I don't want to do that. Never mind. Don't go get the Goblinite Greaves. Go get the Spiderite Greaves. I know where those are at. They're sitting right there. The Goblinite Greaves sound like that might be a suicide mission for treasure. And he's doing it anyways. Even though... Warchi. Spiderite Greaves, sir. Listen to what I'm telling you. Okay, luckily, luckily the Greaves were right there. I was worried he was going to run into that ridiculous room full of monsters and just start getting into trouble. What they should do is they should start having heroes be haulers. Whenever they come back, they should grab a piece of gear and bring it back with them and dump it in the dump it in the tavern, maybe, and you can pay like a discounted like half price for it. Like That's a typical RPG thing is you get half price for things that you buy. And so that leaves the Spiderite Greaves up for somebody else. And this hero, I get the distinct feeling he's not going to walk away from this one. These barbarians, I swear, barbarians are morons. That's one thing that I've really discovered about <laughs> the heroes. is like you really want to kill off as many of your barbarians as possible because they are just stupid. They are stupid to the level that they retreat so early and they get in like huge fights. It's just... They're ridiculous cowards and ridiculously brave at the same time and that creates a large... A large, large issue, and we're probably about to lose a guard here. Hopefully somebody else comes down and helps. Or maybe they'll run into just a bunch of people up here. Looks like we've got ourselves a little goblin invasion. And luckily a hero has decided to take responsibility for his individual actions and jump in on this fight. Take responsibility for his kinsmen. And maybe he'll at least take out one of them. The next layer is down. And they've placed another block wrong. 
So there we are. We're going to place that there. I'm going to take a look around and see if I can get a roof placed. And we're going to start the roof there for the carpentry. And we've got another block that's just laying around here. Not entirely sure what its function is. Hopefully someone will come along and do something intelligent very shortly. I can't guarantee it, but maybe it will, maybe it won't. Now taking a quick gander around town, there's probably better ways by which we could be using our townies, especially now that the roof is being put in. And actually, building a roof out of our food stock may not have been the best idea right now. We have a lot of flour left though, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'm not going to give myself ulcers. Now whenever you're in the dungeon, you take a look around, there's lightsaber ghosts here. Lightsaber ghosts tend to show up when you don't destroy human remains of people that have died. They drop okay loot, so I've decided to leave them up. They aren't particularly tough. They're about as strong as like a slime. You can kill them fairly easily with weapons. But that is kind of your motivation for building grave sites, is getting rid of some of these dead bodies that are laying around that can get your people into trouble. I am going to go and equip her with the Goblinite Greaves real quick so that our guards have the best possible gear. If nobody else is going to have good gear, at least our guards should because they're, they're holding down the line here for the stupid stuff that our heroes are doing. Now, the damage done by some of these Goblin Heads... I think somebody picked one up, actually. Take a look at our heroes here. Nobody picked one up. So I'm not sure what happened to the Goblin Heads. There were more laying around. The Goblin Heads do appear to deal a certain amount of damage that is superior to the stone hammers we have. So I think what I'm going to do is take a look through the stats here and see which ones... Huh. I guess that other goblin head must not be on the loot list. I thought I saw a goblin head that did like 800 damage. Or there it is. 800 attack. So I guess I'll have her pick up a goblin head since it appears to be better. Actually, never mind. No, it isn't. That was a dumb mistake on my part. Well, she's going to go down and collect that goblin head at this point. Its attack value is better, but its general damage value is lower. So I guess I'll reassign her to go back and pick up her hammer here. Go pick up your hammer, fool. And hopefully she'll get right on doing that. Up here, take a look and see how our roof is doing. Work does start to go a lot quicker once you actually have the townies to get things done. Now we have had fatalities, which is really disappointing, and that is going to slow down our productivity a tad. But if things get too out of control, what I'll do is I'll just wall off that entire dungeon area and force the heroes to just be miserable for a while and not do anything. I've yet to see this hero actually go down in the dungeon. Hopefully he does at some point. He's got an attack aura, it looks like, that he's given to people, so maybe he's got some paladin -y stuff going on. We do have general bones laying around, but I have had people eating omelets because they haven't do been doing a very good job of managing the amount of cows. They tend to whittle through them pretty rapidly. It looks like he's going to go back down into the dungeon. So I was wrong. I take it back. I apologize, knightly man. I do want her to have her hammer, so I'm going to have her go back and get her hammer. Kind of a waste of time, but what can you do? Now on this level, we've been unfortunate in that we haven't found other metals. Part of me wants to start whittling away at the walls and figuring out where everything's at. It looks like we hit the level with coal early, but we don't have a four square of it, which is really going to hurt us. Basically, to lay down a mine, you're going to need a four, a two by two, a square of four of the node in order to get it done. And hopefully this layer has a, a four square somewhere. I guess we'll keep on digging. Take care of business here. And then also remind them that they're supposed to be mining out that dirt, and hopefully they get to work on that as well. Our roofs are getting placed here. I don't think we have enough wheat for it at the moment, but that's fine. It's kind of an ongoing work in progress. The bridge over here, I'm gonna let you guys name this bridge over here to Awesome Island. I don't really know what to name it. It's a it's another work in progress we have going. I do like the way it's the way it's forming out, I think. I think the way it's fleshing out would be a better way to put it, but I like the way it's fleshing out in terms of the way it looks. 
These are going to be support posts that are going to go back to the ground. They're going to look identical to these right here, and there's going to be another pair on this opposite end of the island. And once that's in place, we can actually start building our badger arena on the other side. Down here, we've lost a couple civilians, so I'm, I'm hesitant at the moment to start sending more people down into the depths to kind of get things done because our work queue is somewhat hobbled at the moment. I'll probably unassign one of these soldiers and we'll just keep these two equipped individuals as our guards just so I can get another person working on general towny doery, towny tasks, towny jobs, working on employment basically. And so we'll get her back to work. And it looks like we do have a four square down here that we can use. So what I'll do is I'm going to assign them to just mine this whole region out. And once that's mined out, we'll finish off this scaffolding. Or we'll build another one up from the ground because it looks like this one's going to be in the way of our mine. And if it is, that's, that's fine. But we need to get it out of the way so that our mine will be producing coal and they can run it straight up the hole and straight out here to storage. Or realistically, so workers can come down here, get the coal, and drop it off in one of our little storage rooms over here before going back up to the surface. And it looks like we're getting ourselves into trouble again, which means we may lose another civilian. It looks like they're gonna tag team the spider though. So hopefully they don't get themselves in too much trouble. Looks like it's gonna be a race to the finish here for Brunhild. Maybe she shouldn't be such a failure. Eh, weak people deserve to die in this game, so I can't stand it when I've got weak, terrible townies. It's kind of my fault. I didn't give her money, so I'm being a little... Or I didn't give her gear, so I'm being a little spiteful here. But I really am hard on my townies. I just don't care. I think what I'd like to do now... Is maybe get some more wood and stone gear carved out. And maybe block off the entrance to the dungeon partially. I... The heroes are just being so stupid that... If they used any type of intelligence when they were down here, I wouldn't hate them so much, but they're kiting so much back to us that with just reckless disregard, like, are you serious? Look at what's about to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to leave him to die and destroy the stairs here because I cannot have people running back up into my dungeon. We're going to break the stairs here. And, sorry bud, it's all on you. It's all on you. And that should, I think, keep us safe from the monstrosities below. What I'll do is just to make sure... Yep, sorry bud. I know what you're up to. You're trying to kite more stuff into us. And I'm just not going to allow it to happen. Let's have fun starving down in the dungeon. This is a tactic you can reserve for when your heroes are just being too stupid. You can punish them to a certain respect by just allowing them to die down in the dungeon. Looks like we have too much flour going on over here again, so our food stocks are okay for now. I'm going to lock this door as soon as everybody leaves. Get down on the correct layer here. Close and lock the door and get everybody back to work doing what they should be doing, which is putting on the roof of our carpentry. This is as good a spot as any, I think, to break off this Let's Play. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care out there.